Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here with another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Blood and Black Lace. This is from Arrow Video USA and it's a film by Mario Bava. What this movie is about, it's about this house of models and they uh, they don't live there. They just go there, model stuff, um, you know, they work there. And one of the models ends up getting murdered by this faceless man or woman <laughs> and that's the that's them right there and uh they find us out and you know they're devastating that but the show must go on and then before you know it another murder happens and then everybody is a suspect um you know in this movie you you don't know who it is and they're they're nobody knows who it is and so everybody gets, is starting to get more and more paranoid some people are a little suspicious so you're pointing the finger at everybody uh, in this movie that you think could, you know, be possible, that could possibly be the murderer in this movie. It's part Jalo, part slasher, and the intro in this movie is really, really cool. It, it's like a live action kind of, I don't know what they would call it, but they'll just be like posing like this and the camera will come in on them and, and they'll say their name. On the, on the bottom then like they'll be show the next person who's in the movie and they're in a different like position somewhere else and it was really cool I really liked how that was done and again I don't know the name of what that's called but it had a really uh, unique intro uh, I don't you don't see that kind of intro nowadays and I thought it looked really cool like that they clean this movie up a lot from from I never saw the original but it looks really, really nice on this. And I would say I probably cleaned it up a little too much because she, the one girl was walking into the one scene and I saw a string and I thought, what the hell is that? And all of a sudden a spear went right there. So as much as you like the whole, you know, them cleaning things up, they really cleaned this up a little too much, I thought. But, uh, you know, the movie was really good. I... Uh, no, sometimes Jalos, I like them, but I'd say this is one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, sometimes I don't really like all the ones I see, but this one was, was good. It really had me thinking the whole entire time watching this movie. Like, I had all these different um, ideas of who the killer might be and, and, and scenarios in my head like, okay, it's probably this or it's this person. And then, you know, I end up, I'll be honest, at the end of the movie, I ended up being wrong with who it was. It kind of felt like Jamie Kennedy in Scream where, you know, everybody's a suspect. It kind of felt like that because everybody was a suspect in this movie. Everybody gave off this weird vibe because there's also other things going on like this murder was bad and then other murders start happening but they don't know why and there's not really a big connection to everything there's uh, people in the behind the scenes you know of course fooling around with this one there's drugs there's you know all this other kind of thing so nobody really knows why this is going on why things are happening who's next uh, stuff like that they're they're just all getting scared and, and some people are a little too calm some people are just overly paranoid like I said they get alibis that uh, are lies so they're they're you know they suspect them it's all over the place with this movie but not all over the place in a bad way where it's like what the hell's going on it was definitely a really good movie I, I really like this movie and this edition has a ton of special features I mean a ton. There's obviously the brand new 2K restoration of the film. You get the option of watching this in English or Italian and I chose English but I also always when I watch these I always put subtitles on to see how well they match up and it matched up very well. There's a brand new audio commentary by Mario Bava's biographer Tim Lucas. Psychoanalysis is a, do a new documentary on blood and black lace and the origins of the giallo genre featuring interviews with directors Dario Argento, Lamberto Bava, and screenwriter Ernesto Castaldi. There's also a Blu-ray exclusive on here of a segment called Yellow and it's the much acclaimed Neo Giallo by Ryan Hasem and John Britt. 
uh, like I said, it's exclusive to this Blu-ray, so you won't find it anywhere else. Just on here, uh, and there's uh, and there's so much more. The Gender and Giallo, a visual essay by Michael McKenzie, exploring the Giallo's relationship with the social upheaves of the 1960s and 70s. There's panel discussions. There's this is three discs, and it's uh, regions A and B. Movie only runs about 89 minutes long, so about an hour and a half. And uh, it keeps your attention the whole time, especially if you, uh, you know, have to read the subtitles. But you don't have to read the subtitles. Uh, but they, it's it's really, really a good movie. It really cleaned up. Uh, like I said, maybe cleaned up a little too much, but very very good movie. I, I enjoyed this one a lot. And of course, there is a reversible sleeve in the artwork. The new artwork is from Graham Humphreys. So I'll show you the reversed art. All right, there's the new art from Graham Humphreys, which I think looks awesome. And the reverse art is obviously the old stuff. And I like that one, you know, just as much as the new one. I think Graham Humphreys really, you know, tried to keep it as close to the original as possible, you know, paying homage to it even. I really like both. The spine, I like the new font. I like the red too. I think either one looks would look great on the shelf. I think I think they've done a, an excellent job. I think he did an excellent job, Graham, uh, with the artwork. Uh, I don't know which one I like the most. I'd say it's probably an even. Which one do you like more? And like I said, there are three discs. This one has features and extras on it, which obviously has this artwork from the original poster on it. And we have the other two discs here. There's another, the feature and extra and just extras so uh it there's and the artwork on them are really are really cool too they look it, it's just done it, it, it's just done very very well it's very beautiful arrow did a great job with this so yeah three discs here and of course the booklet and this is a little bit thicker than the usual booklets they have this is full of a lot of a lot of stuff there's the contents and there is the faceless killer looks really kind of scary pretty cool the glamour house of horror who done it the unusual suspects see that's my my word who done it here's an interview with I keep pointing to the wrong side with joe dante he uh reminisces about his uh the remembers the genius of mario bava so there's an interview in here with him bava's avenger and here's a section on yellow, a whole section dedicated to that special feature that's only on the Blu-ray. And also yellow, a review. And of course, if you want to know more about the restoration, there it is, a production credit, special thanks, and the back of the book, which is, you know, a very scary face. Not just this one, but that one. Again, Arrow did a terrific job with this edition. I really, I really think they went all out with this. It's a good, it's a great movie. It's a great movie, great restoration. Like I said, a little too good. And uh, that would probably be my only complaint about it. It's a little too clean. I don't know. That's, that's, but it, 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 it just flows along great. It, it keeps you thinking. It keeps you paying attention. So, and that's what you want in a movie. And that's what this does. I really enjoyed this movie. I, 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 of course, I always like, from the 60s and 70s, the look of the blood. It looks like that bright red paint, uh, like almost like a toned-down neon red. I think it just looks awesome, and it, this has a lot of that in it, and I just love that look. That's my favorite type of blood in a movie. I think that just look, it just pops more. It, it just looks amazing. And there's some pretty... Uh, not graphic but horrific kills in this especially when he uses this this thing on his hand here that was a very cool death scene but again i i recommend this obviously i recommend this movie i recommend this edition it it's just it's great so with that being said make sure you check out the trailer for this at the end of this review give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and follow me on facebook instagram twitter tumblr horror amino all those kind of places that's it everybody thanks for watching talk to you later bye the men would come back we're all women left alone